It is hard to believe there were two mass shootings in less than 13 hours. I mean, 31 people were killed, dozens more injured. Well, now the FBI warns there could be copycat shooters. A growing memorial in El Paso, Texas, just two days after a gunman terrorized shoppers in a Walmart. Busting guns. This cell phone video shows the chaos inside, and with this surveillance video, you could see the gunman enter the Walmart, taking aim at shoppers. Among the dead, David Johnson. He just turned 63. We had just celebrated his birthday. Stephanie Melendez is his daughter. She says he was by the side of his wife and her nine-year-old daughter, shielding them from the gunman. My mom and my daughter wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him and what he did. And I couldn't even imagine my daughter. I almost lost her. Investigators say the suspected gunman allegedly posted a racist anti-immigrant manifesto on a message board called 8chan just before the shooting rampage. In Dayton, Ohio, another vigil. This mass shooting 13 hours later. A masked gunman approached a popular district in the city and fired his modified assault style weapon. In the video, you could see patrons screaming and taking cover in a nearby bar. In all, he killed nine people. The oldest was 57. The youngest was 22. She was the shooter's sister. Police believe the siblings had actually traveled to Dayton together, along with a man described as her companion, who was wounded but survived. It seems to just defy believability he would shoot his own sister. Among the survivors was Caitlin Muje. Like literally running for your life was exactly what we did. As for a motive, that's still unknown. Police are looking into all evidence at the scene and into reports that the gunman had been suspended in high school after officials learned he had compiled a hit list of people he wanted to kill and rape. But they believe that does not appear to be a factor in this incident, neither does race. And according to the AP, a Twitter account from the Dayton shooters labels him as a leftist and also in support of Democratic presidential candidate Elizabeth Warren. It's a sharp contrast, though, to the social media of the alleged El Paso shooter who supports President Trump. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio.